Thank you for coming so far. I've got a list here of everybody. We've got somebody come from Hokkaido. Who's come from Hokkaido today? Oh, Hokkaido. A few of you have come from Hokkaido. Thank you. What about from the south? Okinawa? Anyone from Okinawa? I'm going to be doing a discussion on clinical reasoning. But actually, you're going to be doing the discussion, not just me. I don't like to do that. So I'm, I'm going to just give you a little bit of an introduction, then I'm going to get you working in groups, okay? I want to discuss about clinical reasoning first. Now, what is clinical reasoning? Who has heard of clinical reasoning? Please raise hands. Clinical reasoning. Ekigaku. Thank you. So, and that's the epidemiology of the diseases, plural, one is considering, that being one is you. When compared to each other, you have to compare different diseases in your thinking, which is likely based upon this. And this is based upon the disease prevalence. How common is it? What's the race of the patient? The sex of the patient? Their age? And which are the best fit for the presentation of the illness? clinical features which fit the best. Such differential diagnoses should include mino gashite wa ikenai. I must not miss diagnoses. Uh, and that's for very serious illnesses that can potentially be lethal and which require urgent intervention. You must deal with the emergencies first. Don't deal with the rare diseases first. Tell them this. How many people are in the picture? Did you notice how many people? Five. Did you all see five? Or did you only see him? <laughs> you need to start with a very basic description. There is a room, in fact, there's a room with five people, two female, three male. Simple description. There's two animals in the room. There's a dog and a cat on the floor. Yes, there is an obese Caucasian male in maybe 60 years of age, sitting in a chair on the right hand side of the room with his left leg elevated on a stool. Underneath his chair, what are these? What are they? They are crutches. Crutches. He's got two. He also has a bowl on his right hand side. Okay? There is a young female with her right breast in his face. And he's looking at her into he's looking at her eyes and she's looking at him. And she's holding his left hand with her left hand. And then we have a maid in the middle pouring him some wine. Behind the two females is another waiter. And then we have another waiter bringing in a large container of probably food, putting it on the table. That is a basic description of the whole picture. That's what you need to be doing for any clinical thing. Look at the whole picture, not just the sign. It's different. So then we can see that the left leg has got some kind of bandaging around it. So this is the focus of our clinical thinking. But we look at the wine here. We look at his obesity. 
his redness of face, the animals. And we say to ourselves, yes, he may have alcoholic liver disease. He may be falling down, fracture, maybe. Yes, he probably is diabetic. But diabetes does not mean having foot up. Many people have diabetes and have no problem. So he may have diabetic foot ulcer. That's the, just DM? No. DM with DM foot ulcer. Peripheral vascular disease. Many people have peripheral vascular disease. Severe is gangrene. Gangrene. So some of you said, ah, one of you said peripheral vascular disease. Yes, good. Peripheral vascular disease with gangrene. May be correct. Taboo. DVT is another good differential here. That's good. Animal bite. Very nice. Maybe hokashikien underneath there. So all of these things are very good differentials. They're good. But the clue, the clue is the wine and the food. Too much. And with this foot here. What is a common diagnosis? What's common? Gout. It's a foot. Gout. And the female comforting him gives this name of the picture comfort in gout because gout is so painful. Sugoku itai. Kedo, kono jose wa comforting him. That's the name here, comforting gout. From 1880 by Joseph Grego. You can make a differential diagnosis. Let's do another one, shall we? Let's do a medical one, a little bit more medical.